In the Canadian Marine Patrol and Rescue alcove, you will see a display case with models of the Avro Lancaster, Avro Anson, Lockheed Neptune, Lockheed Aurora, among others. On the back wall, you will see photos of both commands in this display. On your left, biplanes used for Marine Patrol. To your right, an Argus and an Aurora. To conduct surveillance and reconnaissance, or to gather intelligence, the Canadian Armed Forces use the Cyclone Marine Helicopter and the Aurora Long Range Patrol Aircraft. Their primary roles? To sense and provide a commander with knowledge to assist in decision making. The Neptune replaced the Lancaster in 1955, serving until the 60s in maritime reconnaissance. Initially, the Neptune had only piston engines, but later, underwing jet engines were added. The jets were used at high altitude to reach a search area. Then, to save fuel during the search, the switch was made to the piston engines. The Aurora is a long-range patrol aircraft. Its long endurance and 7,400 kilometer range make it ideal for a variety of missions. Since the early 1980s, the RCAF has used the Aurora for marine and overland surveillance and reconnaissance. The Aurora provides vital support to other government agencies in combating illegal immigration, pollution, fishing offenses, and drug trafficking. With its latest upgrades, it can detect and destroy the latest generation of stealth submarines. The Cyclone replaced the Sea King as Canada's main shipborne maritime helicopter, providing air support to the Royal Canadian Navy. About 10% faster than the Sea King, the Cyclone is used for surveillance and search and rescue, as well as tactical transport for national and international security. This twin-engine helicopter is compatible with the latest high-tech naval frigates. The tandem rotor Labrador was a good fit for search and rescue and used by the Canadian Armed Forces starting in 1963. The Cormorant, equipped with a full ice protection system, routinely conducts rescues that would have been impossible for the Labrador. The turboprop Buffalo can take off and land on the most rugged terrain and in areas as short as a soccer field. All six Canadian Forces Buffaloes are based in Comox and responsible for a search and rescue zone stretching from the Washington state border to the Arctic and from the Rocky Mountains to 1,200 kilometers over the Pacific. The Buffalo will be replaced by the C-295W from Airbus. The Canadian Armed Forces has responsibility for providing search and rescue from the air and also coordinates the national response for air and maritime search and rescue. Either fixed wing or rotary aircraft may be used. Any RCAF aircraft may be used to support a search and rescue mission, if available and appropriate. This search and rescue mandate covers 18 million square kilometers of land and water, made up of almost a quarter million kilometers of coastline, three oceans, and three million lakes. Find out more about these and so many more aircraft at the BC Aviation Museum at YYJ.